Learning to program is just like learning to play the guitar. No, don't worry, I'm not going to do it. I, I know my limitations. But anyway, the uh, secret is only learn what you need to learn in order to write the programs you want to program. Some students get so bogged down with learning algorithms, methodologies and paradigms that they forget to write proper programs. In the comments to an earlier video in which I encouraged people to develop entire projects rather than just solve coding problems, well, several people criticised me saying that, well, it's very bad advice. That would, they said, be like trying to play the guitar without learning to play scales. Well, as it happens, I am learning to play the guitar too. And the process strikes me as very similar indeed to learning to program. Sometimes you'll make better progress by not learning scales. This is Justin Sandico, one of the best online guitar teachers. So the first reason that you shouldn't learn a scale is when you don't know what you're learning it for. I would say exactly the same about learning to program. Just substitute the word technique for scale. In his video for guitarists, Justin's main message is know the music you want to play and learn what you need in order to play it. Read the comment Justin put under his video. I learned the hard way too, he says. I learned loads of scales for no reason and never used them. It took me years to figure out I was wasting my time. This is top-rate advice. When you learn to play the guitar or write programs, scales or programming exercises are the support structure, not the end goal. Nobody, surely, learns to play a guitar without some idea of the music they want to play. And yet, quite a lot of people study programming without any clear idea of the programs they want to write. Back to Justin. It's, it's not about playing scales, it's about making music. So making music out of them is the really important part. Listen to the man. This is as true of programming as it is of playing the guitar. Musical scales or programming exercises provide a way of improving your music or your programming. But to make real progress, you have to play real music and write actual programs. As I've said time and time again, writing programs is not some far off advanced thing you do after you've spent years studying algorithms and methodologies. It's the thing you do or should do from the outset. Programming is no different from any other skill, any other skill that you really want to master. You have to do it. You may do it badly at first. Well, that doesn't matter. Learning, whatever the subject, is a process of trying to achieve something that is beyond your current level of skill. Doing exercises and studying theory can be useful, but it can also be a waste of your time. You can get very good at doing exercises, so good that solving exercises leaves you in your comfort zone. And yet, after all those exercises, still you won't be able to write programs. So if you're stuck in your comfort zone, my advice to you is get out of it. And to do that, you need to move forward. Decide on a programming project that you really want to write. Something that interests you, something that would give you huge satisfaction to complete. And, well, if you mess it up along the way on your first attempt, so what? Don't worry. Start again. Your second attempt will be better. And your third attempt, well, with any luck, that's going to be even better. Better still. The fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever, how many attempts, you just keep on doing it. That's the way to learn. If you're one of those people who's in a programming rut, now's your chance. Now, today, to get out of it. Think of a program that you really would like to write and start on it now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon with something different.